Hey guys, uh, back in Portsmouth again. And uh, again, cool building behind me. Portsmouth's got a lot of cool buildings. This one's pretty cool. But the building is cool, but it's not about this building. It's about the building that was here before that building was here. Um, before this brick building was actually here was another beautiful mansion that looked a lot like the John Paul Jones house, that kind of style. And that house was built by Thomas Packer. Thomas Packer, again, famous resident of Portsmouth, and he had an interesting job. He was the chief law enforcement officer of Portsmouth. And so his term was, or his job was known as the High Sheriff of Portsmouth. And it was his job to enforce the law, to ensure the people were locked up, to make sure that everybody could follow the law. And if you were convicted, Sheriff Packer would be the one to send you off to jail and the jailer would make sure you stayed in jail. Sheriff Packer had another unusual job. In Rockingham County, he was the official hangman. And as the job would entail, his job was to hang people. He didn't hang that many people, but he, hang, he did hang one important person. And that one poor person was a girl named Ruth Blay. And the story goes, way over in the southern part of Rockingham County in Southampton, a very young girl who was also a school teacher gave birth to a child. And that child was either stillborn or it died shortly after childbirth. Well, Ruth wasn't married. And in those times, that was a pretty serious crime. To have a child out of wedlock, that was a problem. Having a dead child out of wedlock was a worse problem. To hide the baby, she dug up a floorboard by her front door and buried the baby under that front door stoop. And it wasn't very long before people found out that there was a baby hidden there and wasn't very long before Ruth Blake confessed that that was indeed her stillborn baby. According to the law, she had to be tried, and she was tried for murder. And that's because they couldn't prove that the baby was alive or dead when it was born. And poor Ruth Blake, back in those times, she didn't have a lawyer. She tried to defend herself to the best she could, but in the end, the jury in Straff or Rockingham County found her guilty. And the judge sentenced her to hang. Ruth being a teenager, this is a shock, and this was a very, very deep shock. She had to come to Portsmouth because that was where the county seat was, and that's where she had to hang. Nobody at the time thought she actually would hang. A lot of people thought that the governor, Governor Wentworth, would spare her life, given her age, given the fact that there were so many unknowns about this, this crime. Um, but in the end, Governor Wentworth denied her, her, her request to, to commute her sentence. And so the, the judgment stood, she had to be hanged. And that's where Thomas Packer comes in. Thomas Packer was a man who did his job. He followed the law and he rightfully so executed Ruth Play. He put her on a cart and wheeled her through the city of Portsmouth. The jail was just down the street down here. And the story goes that Ruth screamed and wailed and cried through the streets of Portsmouth. It evidently raised a lot of sadness and empathy for her as she went wheeling by the residents who cried along with her. Once they got to the, to the graveyard where she was going to be hanged on an old oak tree way up there, um, Sheriff Packer was urged one more time, can't you wait just a little while longer? Maybe Governor Wentworth sending a messenger, an express rider, to spare the life of Ruth Blake. And Sheriff Packer, like I said, was a, a man of short temper and little patience and there's an old legend that goes down and a poem that goes along says am I to miss my dinner for this woman to hang come draw away the carts boy and don't say amen and so that's how the old story goes anyway Ruth Blay was hanged she she did die on that tree um, she was buried somewhere in that lot uh, not too far from uh, from the high-rise where the South Cemetery is today and it said that on some nights, especially cold nights with full moons, you hear what sure sounds like somebody crying and wailing and just, just carrying on through the night. Some people think it's the wind blowing through the trees and some people think that that's just Ruth still trying to be heard to this very day. Thanks for checking in.